Look, the internet is a very, very interesting place, especially when we're talking about rumors, leaks, and everything about, well, Nintendo Switch 2. You guys know we talk about Switch 2 kind of on a daily basis at this channel, and at this point, it's almost like a tradition until the system's actually announced that, you know, we're going to do that. Of course, once the system is announced, then we have... So much Switch 2 stuff to talk about that the daily videos probably continue. But maybe some of the videos are more focused on the games at that point rather than just the system itself. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. Please, Nintendo, reveal the Nintendo Switch 2 next week. That's that's what I want. That's what I hope. That's what I'm betting on right now. So we'll see what happens there. But the internet is a really, really fascinating place because... On the internet, we get to see a lot of people's reactions uh, in real time. And there's something happening that is about to make the internet go absolutely crazy in, I think, what's going to end up being some pretty negative ways against Nintendo Switch 2. So we're going to talk about that today. And before I dive in, I just want to remind you we're on our road to 150,000 subscribers. So uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel for all your latest on Switch 2, Nintendo and everything good out there, that would be awesome. Also, drop a like on this video if we can get this video to 1,000 likes. Something magical will happen. Of course, it's got to happen in the next 24 hours. All right. Let's get into what we're talking about. You see, today... PlayStation did something that I think many people have expected, right? They're announcing the PlayStation 5 Pro. At least, that's what we think. They put out this announcement through a tweet, and they put it on YouTube now and all over social media, that they have an event going on tomorrow, uh, basically about PlayStation 5 hardware, and it's going to be hosted by Mark Cerny. And yes, we will be live streaming this. Obviously, we assume this is the reveal of the PlayStation 5 Pro. They didn't put PlayStation 5 Pro, like, tune in tomorrow for the reveal of PlayStation 5 Pro. But this is kind of how Sony does it. If it's literally a show all about technical things about PlayStation 5, when we already know all of the technical things about PlayStation 5, it's clearly because they're about to announce a new model of the PlayStation 5. And it's probably the Pro model. Maybe they don't end up using the PlayStation 5 Pro name that's entirely possible maybe they name it something slightly different after all there's only one generation where they actually use the pro name so maybe they think a different name is appropriate but if i had to guess it'll probably be called the playstation 5 pro and yeah we're gonna live stream that tomorrow we'll be live a little bit before the announcement we'll watch the announcement we'll react to the announcement but so because this is happening I already know what's going to happen in the Nintendo fan community over the next week. Because look, guys, forget what Sony did today uh, in, in announcing this event for tomorrow or what Apple did today. Nintendo had Mario Party Jamboree previews go up today. Starting on Thursday, they have the Grand Festival for Splatoon 3, which determines the story for Splatoon 4. So, yeah, that's a pretty big deal at for Nintendo developers, and I don't think they're going to overshadow that this week with a Nintendo Switch 2 announcement. So, because the soonest that we realistically, at least I realistically, expect a Nintendo Switch 2 announcement is next week, the reveal of the PlayStation 5 Pro tomorrow is going to stir up a lot of negative reactions to Nintendo Switch 2. And not because Switch 2 is being revealed, but because console wars seem to just be everlasting. And for some reason, we can't have one company announce something without another company getting crapped on. And in this case, I don't think that company is going to be Microsoft. I think it's because, you know, I'll just put it this way. It's not popular to crap on Microsoft anymore. We already know they're not doing well this generation. We already know about the rumors of them maybe making a handheld, possibly releasing next year. We already know that Microsoft is uh, going mostly third party. We get it. It's kind of taboo at this point to make fun of them uh, just because new hardware is being announced. Because after all, no one views Microsoft in the hardware space as a major threat at this moment. So of course, the company that will be targeted is, well, the Nintendo Switch. I've even seen uh, some things today where people are like, really, they're going to announce the PlayStation 5 Pro before Nintendo Switch 2 gets announced? And if you paid attention to any of the speculation heading into this month, you kind of knew the expectation was always that Nintendo Switch 2, if it is revealed this month, would probably be after the PlayStation 5 Pro. And you might go, well, why is that? Well, Again, PlayStation 5 Pro is going to steal some headlines. It's going to probably be releasing here in a couple of months. And then Nintendo Switch 2 is not releasing until next year. So why not wait till the dust has settled and then 
announced the Nintendo Switch 2. Now, maybe the dust settling isn't a week. Maybe Nintendo doesn't even announce the Switch 2. But what I do know, uh, well, they'll announce it eventually, but I mean announce it this month. But what I do know is that the internet is going to come after Nintendo again. Get ready for numerous tweets, posts, um, threads, or uh, stuff on YouTube and videos to get made. And just wait for everyone to say Nintendo is cooked. Because keep in mind, the Nintendo Switch 2's power is supposed to be, I don't know, in handheld mode, sort of around a PlayStation 4, in docked mode, pushing, you know, PlayStation 4 Pro and or Xbox Series S uh, with some more modern features. And we'll see how far DLSS can carry Nintendo to uh, keeping games, you know, looking similar enough. But with PlayStation 5 Pro being a more powerful system and likely showing off visuals tomorrow, like we're going to see visuals in video games tomorrow that are going to look just significantly better in some fashion. I don't know what fashion, but some fashion better than games we have today, which is just so hard to imagine. People are going to go, well, anything being made for PlayStation 5 Pro obviously is not going to end up get going over to Switch 2. Switch 2 is cooked. Third-party support for Switch 2 is cooked. Yada, yada, yada. And it's one of those situations where... We, as Nintendo fans, maybe have to get our shields up a little bit to kind of let that stuff just kind of bounce off us. I really hope you guys don't decide to just go and argue with a lot of these people. I don't I don't know that it's really a productive argument. If you end up excited or already are excited for PlayStation 5 Pro, you don't need to be excited for it while also trashing a competitor. Look, Nintendo's doing their own thing. They're not even attempting to make something that's the most powerful home console in the world. Like, Nintendo got out of that power race years ago. We know this. But... We already see this happening a little bit. I talked about in my last video, which went up pretty late last night, that uh, Astro Bot is getting credit for things that Nintendo has been doing for decades. And I, I kind of look at this in, in the light of, yes, Sony should deserve credit for having another successful home console generation, successful enough to launch another pro model system that's just going to extend their generation even further to help them try to get on their war path to keeping the 100 million sales dream alive. Obviously, it's going to have to follow with game support, which will probably mostly be third-party stuff, but there might be some first-party upgrades to games that are already out. I wouldn't be surprised if Spider-Man 2 has a PlayStation 5 uh, Pro update to it that enables just, I don't even know, more 4K, more FPS, more ray tracing. I don't even know what they can do because that game already looks incredible. Uh, but it will be fascinating to see how what they show tomorrow compares to what we know visuals to be today, just to see if there's actually, in most people's opinions, a discernible difference. There probably will be. I'm sure they're going to pick the best of the best ways to showcase the power of the PlayStation 5 Pro. But the reason I'm talking about it is just not because I'm not excited for the PlayStation 5 Pro. I actually am a little nervous on the price point, but I am excited by, by new tech. I like new tech products. I'm excited for the new iPhone coming out. I'm excited uh, for the new PlayStation coming. And I'm excited for Nintendo Switch 2. But because Switch 2 is not revealed, because we don't know 100% the facts behind it, because the specs behind it are going to sound like they're so far behind the PlayStation 5 Pro, we're about to deal with a week or two of shit. Maybe even the rest of the year. If Nintendo doesn't reveal the Switch 2 this calendar year and instead does it in 2025, early 2025, well, yeah, we're going to get crapped on the rest of the year. It's just the way it is. We're going to have Echoes of Wisdom come out and people will laugh because, yeah, Astrobot is probably going to be higher reviewed. In fact, Astrobot will probably be not only higher reviewed than Echoes of Wisdom, it'll probably be higher reviewed than Mario and Luigi and um, Mario Party Jamboree. Now, Echoes of Wisdom is maybe the only one that has an outside shot to maybe hit 94, but probably not. Because one thing that's getting frustrating as a Nintendo fan is sitting back and dealing with unwarranted negativity. Uh, I don't know too many Nintendo fans that are actually upset about Astrobot. Astrobot to me is a resounding success story. I just want to be careful in, you know, giving them credit for uh, trying to shift and change the industry and and halt the video game crash. When look, they're just doing what Nintendo has been doing forever, and Team Asobi deserves a ton of credit. I just don't think that like all of a sudden you make one game like that and it's the model now keep in mind technically i think there's been more 3d published platformers by sony on playstation 4 slash 5 than there has been on uh, nintendo switch because nintendo doesn't release a ton of actual 3d platformers they 
do a lot of side-scrolling platformers, but I, I do think that we need to just be a smidge careful about uh, making sure that while, yes, Team Asobi deserves credit, and yes, Astrobot's amazing, that we make sure that, hey, we recognize, hey, if the industry ends up shifting to smaller teams, if the industry, you know, shifts to you know, not doing all these temporary contract hires and keeping teams together for decades upon decades, that's Nintendo's model. And I'm really glad that Sony has a studio they're working with. I, I can't remember if they own Team Asobi or not, but they have a studio they work with that clearly gets its clues from the way Nintendo does business. And hey, Team Asobi's a Japanese studio. So what a surprise that one of those Japanese studios making PlayStation games functions the way Nintendo does. It's almost like some studios in Japan have this whole video game industry really figured out. That being said, uh, when we're looking back at this announcement, just remember that while we're going to be live stream reacting to it, and I'll be either be excited or I'll be questioning things or maybe even both, I just want you to know the internet is about to just shit all over Nintendo for Oh, 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 at least until Echoes of Wisdom comes out, probably, or until Switch 2 is revealed. Because in the end, the only thing that's going to shut up haters after Sony has a new platform announced like this, a new iteration of a platform, a new, you know, pro model of a system, the only thing that's going to shut them up is Nintendo revealing their next system. Because if Nintendo reveals their next system and the visuals on it, especially with third-party games, look to be like on par almost with what we just saw at the PlayStation 5 Pro, at least in a trailer, I'm not saying it literally will be, uh, then people will actually be quiet a little bit and go, oh, hey, Nintendo is getting uh, Elden Ring. Nintendo is getting this. Nintendo is getting that. I never thought they'd actually get those things. And you know what? The footage doesn't look half bad, does it? Uh, that's the only way Nintendo's really going to shut those people up. And I don't think Nintendo cares, by the way. This is just all me preparing myself for the insanity that is the internet and how crazy it's about to get on this war path between Sony and Nintendo with these two announcements. All right, guys, let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Robojans from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you in the next video.